Hey, hey, hey. This is one of the best sessions to come out, you all. I'm super excited to be here with Dr. Roz. And she's going to talk a lot about some love. Can you tell she loves love? And I love being with her because she loves love. So um, Dr. Roz is an amazing person that I met through the eWomen Network, which is an organization that you all should participate in. If you don't know the information, you can look it up online. We have chapters all over the United States, and I'm not sure if they're abroad or not, but um, Sandra Yancey started that probably 20 years ago, like one of the first organizations that was focused on women and women in business. So check that out. But that's how I met Dr. Roz, and we became immediate, com, com, how do you say that word? Compadres. Sisters. Sisters. Compadres. Yes. Yeah. Compadres, yeah. And she's invited me to participate in some activities that she participates in online. We're part of a financial network. And um, that's all I'm going to say for now. I'm going to let Dr. Roz tell a little bit about herself, and then we're going to jump in and talk about this love pledge, the Be Love Pledge with the Martin Luther King Center and her debt-free degree process. Perfect. Awesome. Perfect. 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 Tell Perfect. Us about you. So first of all, let me say to the Cheryl Cooper, I am delighted to be here. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I've known from a pom-pom. So listen, I just think uh, what we're doing on 11-11 at 11 o'clock and, and all the things is outstanding. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, you a little what, bit of interrupt you on that, but tell a little bit about the 11-11 for you too, if if you care to share, because that oh, was that that moment when I was wow. like, wow. Oh, I would I would be honored to to say something about that. So I uh, I often see eleven eleven. Um, to be perfectly honest, it's rarely eleven eleven p.m. It's mostly eleven eleven a.m. But what happens is I see it if I'm watching a video. Like for example, um, I'm a huge dog fan, and uh, I was watching the game on Saturday, and it was stopped at um, eleven minutes and eleven seconds in one of the quarters, and I was like, see eleven eleven. So I see it all the time. And every time I do, it's just like a little nudge. Like I have a faith tradition and it's just a little nudge from my higher power that says, Hey, Elizabeth, I'm thinking about you. I got you. I'm like, okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, in 2008, my, I was um, divorcing from my first husband and um, our divorce was final on 11, 11. So November 11th of 2008 Fast forward, I met this most amazing minister on the planet, and we got married on May 15th of 2011. So one, one aspect of my life ended on 11-11, and then the new aspect of my relationship started because 5 plus 5 plus 1, 5-15, is 11, and then in 2011. So there was 11, 11 and 11, 11. So that for me is um, just so powerful. And then I continue seeing it. And it, it, it just lets me know that through the good times and the bad times and the rough times and the high times, every single part of it, I'm never alone. Yes. The angels are always with you. Yes. So tell us a little bit about ye, your business and the Be Love Plan. Uh, pledge. <laughs> okay, so a little bit about me. So I am a global educator and I teach nonviolent strategies around the world to colleges, communities, and corporations. And it shows up in a couple of different ways. So the first way is I own my own business, which is debt-free degree with Dr. Roz. I believe helping students graduate without the average $75,000 in debt is indeed a form of nonviolence. I am also one of 14 certified trainers of Kingian nonviolence in the world. So think about that. Um, there's there's 14 of us in the world. Uh, one of the other trainers is our CEO, Dr. Bernice A. King. She is CEO of the Martin Luther King Center and youngest daughter of Martin Luther King and Coretta Scott King. So I'm in esteemed company and it is the most important professional work I will ever do is being a nonviolence practitioner, particularly working for the King Center. And, and I'm sincere, if you go to my LinkedIn, I'm sincere that my mission is to cultivate 8 billion nonviolent practitioners and around the world. And we're going to do that with the Be Love Pledge. 
So every morning, uh, my mister, as, as y'all heard me say, 515, 2011, my mister and I have our quiet time every morning about 530. And we read this beloved pledge together. And then when I come in my office, you're seeing me in my office. When I come in my office, I read it again because I want my mindset to be on love in every single aspect of what I do. So what I'd love to do, Cheryl, is uh, take a little time and just read it. And then we can chat about it. And then we can chat about debt free degree is that good that sounds wonderful i'm okay. all emotional actually over here thinking about Aww, this yeah. i love right. the fact that we can share this with so many people right it's not it's not only going to be the people that register here but it'll be people across the world because right. this will be that's right youtube that's channel. exactly right yeah Yes. Exactly right. Exactly right. So for those of you that are, are listening and you're listening later, I'm sure we'll drop the link in, but it's um, thekingcenter.org forward slash be love. You can go there and you can read the pledge. It's free for everybody. So it just says, uh, join us around the world in taking this pledge. I acknowledge three things. The violence, oppression, inequity, injustice, and hate in our world has to stop. I have a responsibility and role to play in creating social change for a more just, humane, equitable, and peaceful world. The decision is mine whether to do nothing in this moment or to have the courage to stand up for justice, and I've made my decision. Starting today, I make a personal choice to be love. This is my favorite line in the whole thing. I pledge to allow love to drive my thoughts, words, decisions, and actions, and honor the humanity of every individual. I pledge to speak the truth to power in love. I pledge to focus on defeating injustice and not destroying the person. I pledge to support leaders who demonstrate a love for humanity. I pledge to promote unity and refuse to perpetuate or magnify division. I pledge to demonstrate a life of courage, care, and compassion as I boldly confront anything that stands in opposition to love. By signing this pledge, I'm helping to create what Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. called the beloved community. Oh my God, I love that so much. Every day. So much, wow. I just had to take a moment and pause on that because every day you all get up and read that to one another. Yes. With one another, with one yes. another. Yes. And then you get to go out in the world and share that every day, multiple yes. times a day. Yes. With a goal, eight million or billion people? Billion, billion. Because later this month or early in December, we will have our eight billionth brother or sister arriving on the planet. So it's wow. it's the whole the world population is eight billion. Gotcha. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That is so amazing. So tell us a little bit how you go and do that, how you share that across the world on a daily basis. So, uh, as I said, in my own business, um, I believe that that's a form of nonviolence. So I, I use it in my own business um, with college students and high school students who are heading to college. And I ask them to read this and say, how are you going to love yourself enough to do the work on the front end to make sure that you don't end up having to take student loans? And if you're confused about what to do on the front end so you don't take student loans, I'll be glad to help you. But at the very minimum, just understand that it is a lie that you have to take student loans in order to be successful, that you have to take student loans in order to, you know, be out an adult out into the world. Uh, people will twist it and say, uh, well, you can't you can't work your way through school today. That's not true. People will say, um, well, the student loans have helped me build up my credit. Well, that may be true, but there are other ways to build your credit. That, that don't involve having to pay something back. There's $30 billion, $30 billion out there in grants and scholarships. That's just wow. one aspect that I talk about, $30 billion. So that's do you one. Help them find, do you help them find those grants and scholarships? So um, in my business, um, I use the acronym GRIT. And so the G in GRIT is, is grants and scholarships. Now, what I will tell you is I believe in synergy and I believe uh, in pointing people to the right resources. So on my Patreon page, it's $10 a month. I drop a lot of teaching videos over there. Specifically for grants and scholarships, I refer them to Monica Matthews, who mm -hmm. uh, has a website, How to Win Scholarships. Her Facebook group has something like 30,000 members. It's, it's just wow. booming. 
And so rather than me talk about that, I mean, she has two guides. She has a guide for students and a guide for parents. And so, um, and I actually am recording a video with her in the next few weeks because I've been promoting her so much. And so, uh, so, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's that. So like Saturday, Saturday, I'm using the Be Love Pledge with some high school girls, and I don't know if they're going to college or not, but, you know, it will be, how are you using love to guide your decisions in terms of what you're doing in high school and beyond? I've used it with real estate professionals. I've used it with, uh, I did a talk with Friends on Financial Freedom uh, that you and I are a part of, and I was um, one of the keynote speakers for that group. So love is everywhere. And therefore, the Be Love Pledge is applicable to everybody. I was in an international networking group about two months ago, and this guy was lamenting that, you know, the world was doomed and blah, 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 and it was just awful, and like nobody has the answers. And I said, I have the answer. And he goes, oh, really, what? And of course, I'd never met him. You know, we were in a in a breakout room in a Zoom, and he was from Denmark. And I said, um, love. And he said, what? And I said, love. And then I read him just a little bit of the nonviolent, this uh, Be Love Pledge. He was like, wow, I'm really going to think about that. I was talking to another guy that I met in this networking group. Um, and when I started, I had not even read the pledge to him yet. When I started talking about I mean, I, I hope it's certainly in this 1111 master masterclass 1111 that you all can feel the energy that you can feel the sincerity because I can't put that on. I mean, this is this is authentically Dr. Roz. And when I began talking to him about my vision for eight billion and to love others and to, you know, you know, talk about Dr. King's philosophy and methodology of nonviolence, this man was 55 years old and he started weeping like he had to turn his head. And he said, I am so grateful to run into your passion because I don't have any. It's so bleak. And he said, I, I see what you see. I was like, thank you. Thank you. That is so beautiful. So, so beautiful. I love that you get to do that every day, that you choose yeah. Yeah. to do that every day, right? That you choose yeah. to do that. Yeah. yeah. So that's all. Those are all the places that uh, I generate through Elizabeth, you know, just Dr. Ra's stuff kind of happens. And then um, in addition to being a certified trainer, I'm also a special projects manager at the King Center. And one of my projects is um, when entities, organizations, teams want nonviolence training, then um, all of those requests are filtered through me. So I get to meet with folks again all over the world as a direct ambassador of the King Center. Like they're they're coming to the King Center for training. And so um, I always read the Be Love Pledge and and, um, encourage them. People are like, what, what can I do? I just, I, I got to do something. This is what you can do today. You can go to the website. You can copy it off the website. You can print it out on a piece of paper. Please, while you're there, sign the pledge. Let us know that you're doing this every day and read it every day. And I promise you, you'll see the transformation. It's just like having a, your own personal be love affirmation that you read every single day. Every day. I love it. I need to print mine out. Absolutely need to print my out. Yeah. Wonderful, Dr. Oz. I appreciate you coming on and chatting with us so, so much. So how can people reach out to you? Okay, so you can uh, find me at the King Center. So you can email me there, uh, erosner at thekingcenter.org. Uh, you can find me on LinkedIn. You can find me on Facebook um, and then my Patreon. And honestly, Cheryl, um, more and more, I'm seeing that people are joining my Patreon. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with that, but that's a membership site where it's for creatives. And for me, I drop all kinds of content. 90% of it is debt-free degree. Some of it is nonviolent stuff. It just, ha it just depends. It's just $10 a month. And so I certainly have a lot of folks over there that are eagerly seeking a debt-free degree. But honestly, I am finding more and more that people are signing up because they want to support me. And they say, you know, I'll support her for $10 a month because I believe in what she's doing. And that gives me more opportunities. I'm about to um, start dropping a lot of um, free content 
on um, different platforms to point people to Patreon because even $10 a month can be too much for some people. And so, um, so the people that are supporting me there, that allows me to then drop this other content in other places. So, so what kind of content is it that you're dropping? It will be, again, everything that has to do with nonviolence. And so I'm starting a show, what I'm calling a show, called Love Revolution. So if you think about, if you th- I don't know how I can do it here, but if you think about the word love and you think about revolution, it's R and then E-V-O-L, Ocean. So it's L-O-V-E backwards. Right. So when you look at my logo, um, I had a logo developed so you can see the love backwards. Um, That'll be the tagline is love backwards in your life. And so obviously debt free degree is going to fall into that, but I'm going to do some book reviews and I will start every show reading the Be Love Pledge. I love it, Dr. Rose. So amazing. So amazing. So as we wrap up, I have one other question for you. Yes. Tell me, in your life, how are you doing, what are you doing to live life simply? Ah, okay, I'm going to be honest. I live by my calendar. And so one of the things to live life simply is to know what the expectations are and and sometimes schedule in some downtime. So I uh, have what I call the big three. And those are the things that are going to move the needle forward. And when I, whatever I write down is my big three. I make a commitment. I learned this from Sandra Yancey, the founder of Being Women, that I will not go to bed until I have done all three of those things, whatever that looks like. And so, and I stick to it because that's the thing that will move the needle forward. Because my business coach talks about the difference between motion and action. And I spent a lot of time in my life being in motion. So I was moving and I wasn't going anywhere. It's like being in a rocking chair versus action, like really going from here to there. So that's one thing I do is the calendar. The other thing that I do is for my Patreon. So that's um, that's my community where I help folks graduate fully debt free. I recorded with my videographer 14, I mean, uh, 44 teaching videos and 44 one minute reels in one day. What? So I recorded all of my content for about 20 months of my Patreon. So like right now, my Patreon is built out through May of 23. Wow. Good for you. And when I start, when I start my show, then I will record those videos and then, and then I'll drip those out. So instead of having to record something every week, I can set aside an eight hour day and record, you know, I could record 20 videos that day and then get them off to my videographer. So that's one way I do it. Live simply. The other thing is it's so easy to choose love. It is so easy. And that's not cheesy. And that's not me bringing it back to be love. It is simple because our society says, wait, Elizabeth, you have to choose. Are you this letter behind your name, a D? Are you this letter behind your name, R? Are you red or are you blue? Are you USA or are you, you know, whatever? Mm -mm. Love says that I don't have to make any of those choices. I don't have to evaluate if somebody is worthy of love and dignity and humanity. If you have a heartbeat, if you're on this planet, I love you. That's how I live so simply. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you again, Dr. Roz. You're so welcome. And we will wrap up on that note. Um, Thank you so much, everyone, for watching this video. You are going to just get a whole bunch out of it. And remember to go to the website at the King Center and look for the Be Love Pledge. Is that correct? Yes. And look for the Be Love Pledge. Take it down, um, print it, and look at it every day. Let it be your affirmation for love. Yes. Take care. Thank you, Dr. Appreciate you, Cheryl, so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye.